Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> How often do you check your sales stats on Amazon? And when you do check them, where do you check them? Do you check them at Seller Central on your computer or laptop? Or do you check through the Amazon app? I'm curious to know if I'm the only one that approaches this in the particular way that I do. I basically hardly ever check how often I'm getting sales. I never check on my app. I only check at Seller Central when you go to the main page. It shows how many sales over the last 24 hours and over the last seven days. So that gives me a quick snapshot of any new sales that have come in. And then I can click on one of those numbers and be able to see what the new sales are that have gone through and to get an idea. When I first started doing FBA, I would check my sales fairly frequently every day in the beginning and then I just stopped looking because I just wasn't seeing any sales. Now, you have to understand that my first shipment was 26 books and in the first six months, I probably only had a few hundred items in inventory. So I was not getting very many sales and I still hadn't figured out uh, which were the best books to buy in terms of um, you know, buying ones that were just too long tail or that had too many FBA offers or weren't going for enough money, that sort of thing. My sales were really slow in the beginning due to not having very many books in inventory and not being very good at picking them. And after a while, I finally figured out how to get better at sourcing and what books to pick. I think that my lack of des lack of desire or interest in checking sales every day or a couple times a day stems from that beginning. Uh, at this point, I basically, I wanna be able to, to check sales and know for certain that I have made sales. And I am still not at that point, although I am at the point now, thankfully, that I do make daily sales. Rarely does a day go by that I don't get a sale, at least one. It occasionally happens where I maybe one day I didn't get a sale in an entire month. But it might only be one day, at most, at most it might be two, but it's rarely even two. It's possibly one day, usually not even any days at this point. Considering that I'm getting over 100 sales in a, in a month, and that's growing in the off-peak months, of course. I like the idea of not having to worry about whether I got a sale or not, which is where I am at this point, but I just, it fluctuates still. Some days it'll be one sale, some days it'll be six, seven sales. Uh, or somewhere in between, even in this month. Uh, for instance, a bunch of sales just came in from two days ago that weren't showing yesterday, and like five new sales from two days ago. So I like the surprise of finding sales. So I can imagine during the peak months, you know, when August, com when August comes around, it's gonna be mayhem. There's gonna be so many sales in a day for me uh, that it's just gonna basically make me wanna cry. Um, to imagine what that would be like on a month-to-month -month basis. That's why my f my first really big, big goal was to make 10 sales a day minimum. So that would be about 300 per month spread out over the days. Clearly some won't have 10, but to get around 10 averaged out per day ma makes me feel like I don't have to ever worry about whether or not I'm getting sales because I know I'll just wake up in the morning and there's new sales. New sales happened overnight. Uh, if I don't look at if I don't look at my sales during the day, I know that sales are happening at some point throughout the day. So I'm at the point where I know there are sales happening, but where I know there are sales happening, but where I know there are sales happening, but they're not happening so frequently that I can check multiple times a day. I'm getting close to that goal, but it's not quite there yet. But I am at the point to where I know that I'm going to be getting at least a few sales. Therefore, I I prefer to kind of stay in my biting my nails mode uh, or not wanting to be disappointed mode so I don't check every single day. I have an Excel spreadsheet where I document my sales, you know, how much they sold for, when they sold, sales rank, that sort of thing. I don't do that every day. I usually let that build up over a week or so and then I go back and list all my sales, spend a little bit of time to do that. Now I want to get to the point to where I'm getting 10 plus sales a day and I can't really let that slack or I'm gonna have to get some sort of software like Inventory Lab that does that, most of that for me. So I can understand if people are kind of obsessive about, about checking sales every day because I used to do that in the beginning and now even when I'm getting consistent sales, I don't like doing that because I, I just don't wanna know 
if I'm not getting that many sales, basically. So I prefer to be surprised. But I'd be curious to know if you guys check frequently or infrequently or, or if I'm the only one that basically does not check that often. I'm sure there's other people out there that do. It's gonna be a lot of fun when I get to the point of having 10 plus sales a day every month of the year and not have to worry about checking for sales, basically. I mean, I understand, you know, it's good to check to see how things are going if suddenly sales have slowed down, you need to find out why, that sort of thing. But just generally speaking, it's not necessary to check if you're getting a ton of sales. You know that they're coming in. So let me know where you fall there on the sales checking spectrum. I'd be curious to hear. So the more sales you get, the more you wanna check or the less you wanna check. I kind of go both ways where I feel like I do wanna check because I'm excited to see what's sold and what it's sold for and that sort of thing. But then I also kind of wanna hold back because I like the looking at after a few days, three or four days and seeing all the sales that have come in and saying, wow, that was great. I like to see the, the bunches of sales, which probably when I start making 10 plus sales a day, I'll probably look at it even more often. So keep going out there and sourcing. And when you get those sales coming in, check them or don't, it's up to you. But as always, remember, keep booking.